M. Night Shyamalan is back with a brand new original thriller that is hitting theaters this weekend and I am so excited to talk about this movie because it's another M. Night Shyamalan movie and I'm always excited to see what he can make next. So let's get into the review. Trap is the newest thriller from M. Night Shyamalan, who wrote, directed, and produced this film as it stars Joss Harnett in the lead role. So going into Trap, I was enthusiastic to check this movie out as there was no critic screenings for this film, so I had to check this movie out at a Thursday pre-show, and the reviews for this movie are still not up at the time of recording this video, so I am really excited to see what people think about this movie because I think it's going to be very divisive. Let's just dive right into the positives first, and I do have to start with Josh Harnett in the lead role as the serial killer, The Butcher. He is great in this movie, so much so that people have already been saying that this is the best performance in his career so far, and I would say yes to that, being able to channel out his inner serial killer self while also being very funny, and while the screenplay doesn't do him a lot of justice, he does a great job of excelling in this performance. I also love the the fact that M. Night Shyamalan shot this movie on 35 millimeter film as this movie looks great. The cinematography in this movie is actually really good. I also really enjoyed the framing and the shot selections in this movie. M. Night really does care about the way that the movie is being presented to the audience and having this sense of intensity and curiosity of not knowing what's going to happen next. I felt very engaged throughout this movie except the second half which we will get into. Now let's talk about the first half of the movie. Movie, which is easily the best aspect about the movie which is pretty much what you see in the trailer where you have the serial killer of Cooper the butcher that's in this concert there's a trap for him and he's with his daughter and he's trying to find a ways to escape and I found it to be the more interesting aspect about this movie because he is trying to find any little way to escape this concert and it made for a really cool over-the-top premise it works for this movie and I found it to be very engaging and very interesting to see what Cooper's gonna do next and how he's gonna get out of these situations and the little tidbits of dialogue or little things that you see that Cooper does that play later into the movie. I have always loved the way that M. Night Shyamalan has made the audience pay attention in his movies to the little details because he is trying to make you engage. He wants you to pay attention while watching his movies to notice these little things. Now, my biggest issue with this movie is with the second half, which I will not be spoiling, and I do do feel the second half of this movie takes a deep dive down as there are going to be a lot of audiences who may really enjoy this because it is more action-packed it is more of your typical serial killer thriller type movie it is very reminiscent of Cape Fear which is a movie that I really enjoy a lot and I do think that there are elements of it that do work but it feels so over the top and ridiculous that it doesn't even feel like a grounded thriller anymore because that is what this movie is trying to be becomes so silly and ridiculous that there are a couple of fake outs that happen later on in the movie that just don't make any sense and you know me I don't get bothered by those tiny little mistakes that happen in movies but when it happens so often especially in a movie like this that causes so many plot devices for this movie to keep going it became so insufferable especially one scene that happens later on where these characters are in a limousine and there are people that are surrounding it and and the way that it unfolds is so unrealistic and so stupid and especially with the final minute of this movie that is so silly and dumb and I just wanted the movie to be over because this movie clocks in around an hour and 45 minutes and it felt like two hours and 10 which is insane for a movie like this. I just felt so bored and uninterested and so much of it is because the second half is just your typical generic thriller movie that you already know it's going to happen and I just didn't really enjoy the movie as much. Overall guys, Trap falls right in the middle of M. Night Shyamalan's filmography as it isn't one of his best but definitely not in the bottom of his worst movies as this movie feels very forgettable and not rewatchable as you get everything out of this movie in the first watch. This movie also doesn't have a big twist at the end like a normal M. Night Shyamalan movie which is fine because it is essentially revealed in the beginning of the movie and in the trailers and all the marketing which I guess 
twist is cool. I thought there was going to be even a bigger twist. I'm not disappointed in that, but I did feel at a certain point this movie just became very dull and uninteresting, and I wanted to really enjoy this film, but there are so many bad lines of dialogue, and they're so on the nose, like it's talking to the audience, and I can usually excuse these things as just movie moments, but in a movie like this, I just can't. It didn't work for me, but if you are interested in checking this movie out, then you might as well go see it. It's an August movie. There's not going to be a lot of big movies that are coming out, and if you can watch this on a matinee showtime, then I think it's definitely worth the watch. It has great filmmaking in this movie and a really great performance from Josh Harnett, and it's just an okay movie that I think you guys will probably enjoy a lot more than me, or probably not as much, because I do think this is going to be a divisive movie, so I'm just going to go right down the middle and give Trap a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review, as I want to know below in the comment section, have you seen Trap, and let me know all of your spoiler-free thoughts, I can't wait to hear all about it. Before you guys check out this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like as you always should, and ring that notification bell so I can see you all in a brand new video. And I will see you guys at the movies.